Lads, I'm standing here in the middle of Bally Doyle Stables, just outside Cashel and County Tipperary. I'm about to go with Aidan O'Brien, Johnny Morta and the superstar horses of Bally Doyle, all the way to the greatest race meeting of them all over in America, the Breeders' Cup. Shani, morning Pat, how are you Pat? Morning Anatoly, morning Laura, how are you Laura? Morning Vicky, how are you Vicky? Morning James, how are you? James. Morning Davy, how are you Davy? Morning Ranju, how are you? Morning uh, John, how are you John? Morning Joss, how are you Joss? Morning Hector. How are you? <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Are you well? Yeah, good. Thanks, thanks for man. letting us in. Nice nice well. is, it like, is it like that every morning, 70, 70 good mornings at the door? Yeah, good morning. Oh, yeah, we good morning. morning every morning, Hector, yeah. Every morning's a new morning. This is just the first lot, Aidan? First lot, yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. What would you do, three lots in the morning? Three and a half lots, yeah. So, um, Hail, rain or snow? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There's a couple of superstars here around in, in us, isn't there? The yeah. Ju- the Duke of Marmalades, yeah? Yeah, Duke is there. Yates, I recognise Yates. Yeah. And the big push is for America. Yeah, sure, listen, we'll... Uh, ah. we'll uh, well, I've got me dollars, Aidan. I've got me dollars. <laughs> I'm ready to rock. Well done. Uh, I've well never been on a race course. Is it like Ball and Robe on a Tuesday? It night? is a little bit like it, yeah. A bit more sun. Good, yeah. I read the brook about the, the history of Bally Doyle and, and the way they set up the whole operation in the 70s. You weren't walking into a normal stables. No. You weren't walking into a, a brand new stables. You were walking into somewhere where history was already made. Yeah, listen, which was a big advantage to us. Obviously, the system was here and Dr O'Brien had the, the blueprint here and the gallops were here and... Obviously, we try and add little bits to it every year, but the blueprint was here and the system was here, and this was a privilege for us to be asked to come. I'll see you on the gallops. OK, Morgan. A nice, steady Morgan. Good man. Nice, steady Lynn. Garrett. Nice, steady Seamus. Just a nice, steady uh, uh, Abby. Nice, steady Pat. A nice, steady uh, Brian. A nice steady James. And James, you can go in front of Davy if you want. Or Nick Folly up Davy, your grand. Yeah, nice steady James. Perfect, yeah. And they're just going to do a little canter here, are they? Yeah. Um, Hector, it's just our first canter, yeah. They look strong, don't they? Aye, and they're, they're lean and fit now, yeah. you'd hope, you know. Yeah. And the horse gets stronger as absolutely, the season goes on. Absolutely. Every time he runs or she runs, she gets stronger. Absolutely, it gets harder, you know. Yeah. Is that a good sound, Aidan, when they're blown like that? Yes, relaxed. Yeah, you'd like to hear them. Yeah, they're flapping, away, flapping, flapping away, yeah. yeah. But this is what happens every single morning at Bally Doyle. It's all about routine. Aidan sits in the jeep, he oversees everything. The horses come out of the barn, they go for their first canter. The boys go down, they pass the window and they tell him everything about the horse. How he's feeling, did he cough, is he good, is everything all right? And he oversees that bit, he oversees the slow walk, then they go and do fast walk. The whole place comes alive. This is the way it is, week in, week out, for the whole season. And at the weekends, they all go racing. So Aidan, like the season has gone unbelievable so far. I watched the Royal Ascot on the telly. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it was one of those brilliant weeks. Um, everything worked really well. It's Henry the Navigator who sets sail for the judge. Two in front now. Ravens Pass is not going to pick him up. He's a champion. Henry the Navigator goes on to beat Ravens Pass. The Royal Ascot, everyone knows, is, is massive and it's a full week high summer racing. And like if you have one winner there, you have a great week. But we were very lucky and we had four big group one winners that week so it was, it was unbelievable Henry the Navigator the winner of the St James's Palace Stakes and only the third horse in 40 years to complete the treble of English Guineas Irish Guineas and St James's Palace here at Royal Ascot congratulations to Mrs John Magna who owns this horse to Aidan O'Brien who trains him and to Johnny Murta was it the best week of your life? the, the horses were working so well before Royal Ascot and uh, we were so looking forward to it you know and we, we had good horses in every big race so really I thought it could happen. Shawnee, he's delighted. He's won this title twice before and he's never had a book of rides like this this week. 
it was faith, wasn't it, that you were going to write six winners? That you just, it was your week, wasn't it? It was, it was. You do, you get on those kind of rolls, you know what I mean? And as I say, we won the first race, we had a great week, and we won the last race. So it, it was, it was one of those weeks where everything went well, but you see the preparation that goes in here at home in Valley Dial. So it, it, it can happen, it can happen with a place like this. It's Junior Barmalane sprinting away from them. Goes three or four in front. Pipe dream around Phoenix Town are fighting it out for the miners. But this is a brilliant winner. Duke of Marmalade wins the Prince of Wales like a very good horse. We've seen it a million times. The phone call, you're on the phone the minute the horse wins. Yeah. Who do you talk to? No, absolutely. Always through the races, uh, I would always be speaking to Anne-Marie. And always, yeah. And after the race, I'd always ring my mum and dad. There he is on the phone again. Aiden. How are you, man? Must have a very big phone bill. It's been your best season so far. So I know you had 12 Group 1 winners a couple of years ago, but this has been a dream for you, has it? Yeah, well, the whole lot was a dream. Like, to get the job, you know, you, it's the biggest job in, in racing. Um, to get the job, to, when you look down through the years, you see the jockeys that I've ridden here for, for the Bally Dial, then Aidan O'Brien. So for me, it was a great honour to get it. And I was going to make the best of it and enjoy it. It's a real family thing, isn't it? Yeah, sure, listen. And you, I see you seem to share it with Anne Marie and the family. When ah, they yeah, listen, it's very like obviously we live it here, and Anne Marie and the kids live right in the middle of it, and that's their life. And listen, they don't probably get an awful lot of choice about it. And listen, sometimes it can be hard, but listen, I, I feel privileged that they're they're happy to do that and and be so involved and be such a help to us all here. I had my first ever bowl of porridge in this in this kitchen. And this is the man who has got me on porridge. And this man is a very famous trainer, Mr. Joe Crowley, the daddy of Anne Marie, who's up hiding behind the camera. This is the secret to the whole of Bally Doyle, really, isn't it? This is what keeps everybody going, Hector. And how much of this would Aidan eat a day? Oh, one good bowl of it. A good bowl. Well, I, well, I love the same bowl. No is it true that you met at the start of a bumper race in Galway? Was that the first time you set eyes on this man here? It was actually um, an amateur flat race, wasn't it? Was there any connection, Aidan, with the eyes? Was it, <laughs> was it the eyes? Or? I couldn't believe it, Hector, myself. <laughs> did you feel something at I that did, moment? straight away. <laughs> in Santa Anita, I think it's the Breeders' Cup this year. Are you close yeah. to it? Is it all yeah, close no, Santa and small? And yeah, no, it's beautiful. It's the mountains all around you. And this great atmosphere. The weather is usually good. Wow. Mm, a special place. And a bit of sunshine. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. It'd be a nice change to what we've had here all summer. I can't wait to see it. Even if we get one in... No, this I tell you one thing. Listen, to get one is, is massive. Be, you know? Because it is really yeah. the pinnacle. It's the, it's, yeah. it's the Olympics. Mm. And it's lovely to beat the Yanks in their own home. Now, listen, it's great to win any race, <laughs> any of those big races, no matter who you be. Yeah. <laughs> it's New Approach taken on by Henry the Navigator inside the final furlong. New Approach challenged hard by Henry the Navigator. And Johnny Mercer for Aidan O'Brien comes to take it with New Approach on the near side. Henry the Navigator and New Approach, probably in that order. Stop what do you feel the minute? The, the horse goes over that line, whether it's in Ballinrobe or it's in D- Dundalk or Royal Ascot. Yeah, sure. Or the Arctic Trail. Yeah, obviously. What you, do you feel that minute? It's yes, yeah, it's, it's released straight away, but it's it's a great sense of satisfaction for everybody. Um, and I just love coming in the next day and uh, just seeing the lads and just congratulating them and saying well done to them because they're the people who make it happen. Now, lads, where's the man who takes care of Duke of Marmalade? Here, Here he is. is. Brian. How are you keeping? Yeah, well, Aidan was mentioned that he's going to send some of the big guns, like, obviously, Duke of Marmalade will go to America. Yeah, well, the Duke has won five group ones this year. That's a fitting end to his career. It'll be, it'll be great if he can come out on top. He likes to fight, doesn't he? Ah, he does. You know, he's got everything that a great horse needs. He's got great battle. He's got great ability. He's very sound. And his, his mind is great, you know, so he's, he's, he's a real champion. The moment they win, Royal Ascot, oh, Judgman, what, what, how do you feel? Unbelievable, think? unbelievable. Just coursing through you, so it is. But it's just good for the horse and it's good for everyone involved. There's a lot of work put into them over the year. And does he get the acclimation? Oh, he, he does. He gets looked after and he's like this spoiled child. We've seen your face as often as we see Aidan's face, but how are you during the race? Do you get nervous? Do you oh, watch yeah. it? Well, if you didn't get nervous, you could give it up. Right, so much work goes into it for the few minutes that the race is on. The two or three minutes? Yeah. He's beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. This is Henry the Navigator, winner of the Irish Guineas, the English 2000 Guineas, and the St. James's Palace Stake. And this fella has a turn of foot that nobody has seen the like of before. And this man is going all the way to the Breeders' Cup. 
Henry is, you know, he's class, he's very slick, he's very quick. Have you minded him all the time? You've been oh, with him all the time? From day one. From day one. Yeah. Lord, he's had yeah, some season, hasn't he? Yeah, brilliant. He loves fast ground, so we're, we're going to get fast ground out there in America, in California that time of year. And he's another one, need really exciting. What can I expect at the Breeders' Cup? What's it like, Ger? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. What are the Yanks? Did they like World it? Cup of race. Is it? Yeah. That'd be great. Imagine if we get a winner. Oh, we'll go mad. We'll go, I'll go mad with you. <laughs> you br that's a deal. We'll both of us go mad. Please go. Every single person that works here, they're all on the same wavelength. They're emotional. They care for the horse. Every need of these super talented horses is cared for 24 hours a day. And that's why Aidan says that he doesn't get all the glory, that these people get all the glory. The jockeys, the work riders, the grooms, the lads cleaning, mucking out. And that's why he calls it the team at Ballydoyle. I saw Soldier Fortune working this morning and he goes to the Ark and then hopefully goes to America as well. How are you looking forward to the Soldier? Soldier, like, uh, you know, he's, um, he's a very good horse. Group, group one winner. I think Son of Galileo, he's yeah. a big galloper, his knees. I think that the, the tough horses in, in Europe will be, uh, you know, just a bit too good for the tough horses in America. Are you the luckiest trainer in the world? There's no doubt in the world about that. Because we have the people and we have the horses. And we're just so lucky that the boss allowed everybody to assemble him here and listen it's he, it, it's really down to him because he's put the team together right yes john and, and his wife sue if they weren't here we wouldn't have the breed of horse that we have and they'd have been probably in america but they were always anxious to keep the horses here in ireland if they could and, and uh, supply the world with horses from here now lads i've just decided to come across the road from bally doyle to come over here and see where the majority of aiden's horses come from we're in coolmore the home of champions and this is some champion, Paul. How's he looking? Galileo. He's looking very well at the moment. My God, he's some horse, isn't he? What is he now, Paul? He's 10 years old. He can do no wrong. I was with one of your sons today. I was with Soldier Fortune. And here is the king of them all, Saddler's Wells. 14 times champion sire. Probably the greatest sire of them all, without a single doubt. 27 years of age. And all these animals, the majority of them then go across to Aiden, and that's where he gets it. He gets them from him. And it's all come from this man. All hail the king, Saddler's Wells. Johnny, I was going to go on the grass with this fella. Lads, we're going to let two go on the grass there, John. You might get the lads ready there straight away. They're just setting off there now. Okay, I got that, thank you. Happy along now, John. Happy along. It's great horses, fella. Small John. two of you together. Nice building to the furlong, Marco, yeah? I'll call him. Are you keeping your on camera now, so you better say all the right stuff? <laughs> Don't break a rhythm. When your rhythm is taking you there, Seamus. I think the Saturday or the Friday at the Breeders' Cup meeting or something, is there? Probably something to the party, yeah. Okay, fair good. Good man, good man. We just need to and have a quick think about the weekend, what we're going to do. Thanks, Ollie. A six and a half sprint ride, yeah? Ready, lads? Up again. Thank you. Jim, yeah? Sorry for bothering you there now. Jim, yeah. will, will I give them gentlemen a cup of tea? Or yeah, what? yeah, please do. Organise there with Eileen, Jim, please. No problem, that's it. Please appreciate that. Thanks, thanks. Bye, 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 bye. This is your office, Ed. Uh, it yeah. is an office. It's a mobile well, office. And a, um, a caravan, and we sleep and do everything <laughs> in this. <laughs> everything, everything happens in this. There's not many trainers that walk around anymore. It's all drive, 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 isn't it? It's laziness gets the better of the hecker. <laughs> yeah. Drive here, drive there, out of the jeep, open the windows. Well, listen, I don't do anything on you when you're sitting in this jeep, that's all. The lads do all the work. And that's the truth. Yeah. Driving everywhere and looking out the window. Imagine we were here for a year. <laughs> Don't even imagine. I know, I'm not even, I actually, I'm not imagining it. I couldn't even dream of it. And obviously everybody knows the horses are going to America today, so it's, it's an important day that everything goes well. Uh, it's, it's massive for everybody, and it's, it's, 
it's coming to the end of the year and everybody is, is really looking forward to it and to see what's going to happen. Really. Listen, fingers crossed and run well. Who are That's we here it. now? This is this Westphalia. Westphalia. Juvenile two-year-old. Maris, is he good? He's happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Is he going to run yeah. fast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love him run well. Ah, fingers crossed. I love him. And Jim, you'll be travelling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's. Uh, is, do you think he's used to the travel? Would he? Would he have ever done a journey this long now? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have travelled that far. No. Oh, how no, do you think? Did. How do you think they'll take to it? Ah, they take duck to water. My God, thirteen hours on a car, on a cargo plane. Um, yeah. You walked some of the horses this morning. Yeah, horses are all going well. They're all going and going top shape. And it's been a long year, but I still think that the, the horses are in real good form, and I'm really looking forward to the weekend. It's going to be huge. Yeah, listen, I've been watching it for the last six or seven years on the telly and now I'm going to be there, lads. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's only when you when you get there you see the, how big it is and this being 25 years of the Breeders' Cup I suppose is going to be the biggest yet. Super, lads. I'll leave you off to the morning. I'm heading to Shannon. Well, that's it, lads. They're going to do their last piece of work this morning. This is it. I can feel the buzz around here. I, I am so excited about this. It's unbelievable. You know, you can feel it in the air that the best horses in this yard, the best horses in Ireland, the best horses in Europe are about to leave this little village in Tipperary, Rose Green, and head 13 hours across America to Los Angeles for the biggest race meeting, lads. Ryder Cup, they have the golf, the Breeders' Cup. This is it. It's the World Championship. The best ever. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Turn off that engine there, I can't hear a thing. Can't you? It's not often I see a redhead down in Ballydoyle. Does Aidan like the redheads? Does he let the redheads he in? He do, yeah. Will you watch the breeders? Will you have a bit of an old party? Will you get a couple of Budweiser's in? I won't. I will just sit down and look at that. Oh. A cup of tea? A cup of tea. Yeah. bit of Swiss roll? Uh, no, I don't eat that. I do eat. Just uh, drink a cup of tea, that's all. And will you, see, will, you, will you give me a wave if you see me? There's only going to be one head redhead in Santa Anita. And, and, and that's you, Hector. <laughs> Have you clean socks in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How is she? Very good. Good. Very good. Bring her in there. There she is, heart shape. Super. Charlotte and Jamie, these are the boys that look after heart shape, so she's in good nick. She just yeah. did a bit of work there. How was she? That's the last bit of work now, so till she gets over and all is good. Do you think she'll like America? Yeah, she'll suit her. And somebody told me she was born in America. She's born in America, she's going home. Well, listen, does she know that I'm travelling with her on the plane? We told her that. Lads, I'll take 100% care of her. She's as excited as we are. If she needs water, if you need water, if you need another bit of straw, any, anything you need, you just ask me. I will be your hostess on the plane. She's a beauty, isn't she? What, baby? Happy, healthy, ready to go. Jamie's in there, right beside her, just to keep them nice and calm. Oh, no. Good evening. Safe journey. How are you, Brendan? Yeah. Happy now? All okay. Good man. Yeah, no, no problems. No. No. So, yeah, he loaded and all, no problems. Hello, buddy. Has Buddy ever been to the Breeders' Cup? No, not yet. Next year, we told Next him we'll bring him. We're bringing a blind hat here, lads. <laughs> You forgot me. You're all right, Hector. <laughs> I, go, I go in the front. Thanks very much. <laughs> you only put the good ones in the back, Hector. Aiden, I'll see you in America. Yeah, see you all the best. Hector. Thank you. It's great, boys. This is it. This is it. This is it. the apron in Shannon. It's just been like clockwork since we left Valley Doyle. There's about 50 people milling around. Livestock people here. Department of Agriculture, everything has to be clinical. They're putting sawdust down on the ramp so the horse can't be injured at all, so it doesn't slip. Quarter to two in the afternoon. We're about to take off in about an hour's time. The 
amazing. These horses, like, there's not... I thought that my horse might get spooked or something, but they're just so calm, so collected, because they've been travelling like this all their life. It's amazing. They just had one good look, and then up the ramp. And this is the captain who is going to take me and these fantastic animals all the way over to Los Angeles. Arnie, yeah. when did you fly in? Did you just come in this morning? Uh, we brought the airplane in yesterday with uh, some horses from uh, Cincinnati. Is that what you do? You just shuttle horses all the time, or cargo? No, no, this is just uh, this time of year, usually. Uh, we get anywhere from, oh, from six to ten of these trips a, a year, maybe a few more. The flying time for us? Uh, ten hours and 45 minutes. And how good looking are your air hostesses? They're very ugly guys. Alrighty, <laughs> safe flying. Thanks. Thanks well, for taking care of us. You guys are going to be with us. Uh, we'll all have safe flying. <laughs> we certainly will. You. These are the ladies from the Department of Agriculture checking the passports. As you can see, the passports for every horse, all the markings, everything's on it. They, they can spot which horse is coming out. And I just asked them to check me, check my markings. No, you can't travel, definitely not. I am Hector. You're not free to travel. I am a, I am a colt. Up you go. Oh, shite, that's where the horses go. I'll go on the other side, lads. Where, 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 where did the humans get on? Where did the humans get on, lads? We're about to take off. I'm on the plane. My seat is a bit, it's a bit wonky, but it's not too bad. But I just want you to know at home that I vouched, I put myself forward to do this. There's not many people that go 13 hours on a cargo plane with the horses, heading to Los Angeles, that's held together by insulation tape. I hope it's bloody strong tape. Here we go, this is the one we've been waiting for. This is the one we've been waiting for in Valley Doyle. This is the sound of the power. We're airborne, lads. Hey. This plane can actually take up to 45 horses, but on this trip with the Valley Doyle horses, there's eight horses going off to Los Angeles. It's just incredible the space they have, but they've got all the home comforts, the water, the Valley Doyle hay, the people around them that they know every day, everything is normal to these horses. <laughs> You're welcome to seat number 26, row D, and this is Henry the Navigator, two hours into the flight. Look how chill this horse is. A superstar, a multiple group one winner, 50,000 foot in the air, and he's chilled out. You're a superstar, aren't you? We're after arriving at LAX, it's just 20 past six local time. The trucks are loading up in front. There's a lovely smell of a barn and there's a lovely smell of straw and hay in the place and the journey wasn't too bad. It comes like second nature to them to fly to the other side of the world, not a bother on them. And the staff look after them so well. That's the key to the whole thing. Getting the passport stamp, we're getting our quarantine passes and then we're heading along the highway to San Anita, California. here in the grandstand at Santa Anita and they're about to do the draw for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Five million dollars on offer. It's the biggest race of the weekend. Aidan and Johnny want a low draw close to the rails for their two best horses, Henry the Navigator and Duke of Marmalade. Fingers crossed for a low draw. Field of 12 for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Johnny Velasquez on Henry the Navigator is the five. The four is Duke of Marmalade, who had won five straight group ones this year. Duke of Marmalade is the four with Johnny Murtaugh.
We're at the barn area here at Santa Anita and inside of the Bally Doyle horses. This is the first time they're going to go out and race course. Every single stable has their own barn and then every stable has their own allotted time in the race course. Morning, Aidan. Nothing okay? Yeah, good I just checked them all out. Yeah, they're all good. Good. Well, good morning, guys. How are you? All right? Good. This is Laura. It was just out of bed. Look, it's half past six in the morning. How are you, how are you feeling? Okay, and Laura you. takes care of US Ranger, who's here, who's running. Is he running tomorrow or Saturday? Saturday. 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 Laura. Saturday. Family, how's he settled in? He's grand. He's easy going. Oh, you told me that this lad loves his grub. He loves his grub. Did he have his brekkie already this morning? Oh, he did. All gone. Oh, lovely. He's having a stretch. stretch he's he's having a little stretch. And he's not... Well, I'll tell you one thing. Hey, do you know that Aidan O'Brien has a bowl of porridge every morning? <laughs> well, then you, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll like tell you one thing, you could get a bowl of porridge every morning because you love your grub, don't you? US Ranger. How are you boys? Now, this Jarlath, uh, Jarlath, take off that hat and show me that red hair. You, uh, tell us how you're, how you're adapting to these high temperatures at Santa Anita. Hard. Very warm. Are you eating up, did you lick the pot this morning? I am licking the pot. Same and as how nervous will you be tomorrow, boys? Uh, or do you get nervous before the race, Jamie? A little bit. I just hope she does well, she comes home sound. Listen, heart shaped, you look great. She's going to do you proud. Please, God. Talk to you later, boys. Okay. I know you're a passionate man. You love these horses. Tell us how Henry, Henry the Navigator is. It's fine, fine, fine at the moment. There's a little uh, bit of interesting information that, that Henry will be staying in America after this. He's yeah. going to retire to stud. So if Henry the Navigator could run well here, the Yanks, the Americans would love him, wouldn't they? Yeah. Can we go down and see him? Yeah. There's Konami. Hi, Konami. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how is he? Good. Morning, Brendan. Good. Well, how's that? All right, good. Good, are you well? Good morning, Hector. This man looks after him. How will you tell us? Has he settled into America? Yeah. He's very, yeah. He's a tough horse and unbelievable. So, he could separate the people. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Pat? Good morning, Hector. Good morning, how are you? Good, and yourself? Ah, who's this now? The Soldier of Fortune. Wow, what a, what a, what a great horse. Uh, he's Pat, boy unique. how do you think he's, um, he's is, he, is he taken to Santa Anita and the American oh, California he, sunshine? He loves it. What about the Breeders' Cup? What's it like, man? It's friendly livery, and it's the best of horses in the world come over here. Every horse has a chance. And on the day, a bit of luck, you never know. This is all closed off, different section. Outside the world's press, I'm waiting to see. Sorry, but. And we're in here, in this private barn, at the back of the Breeders' Cup. Nobody else is allowed in here. The sun is beaming down, and I bet they can't wait to get out of here. Now, lads, I don't know if you remember this, but back in the day, Aidan O'Brien was champion amateur jockey, and his wife, Anne-Marie, was champion national hunt trainer. Aidan was a serious jockey in his day. You haven't seen him on a horse yet, but you're going to see him on a horse in Santa Anita. On this little fellow, what's his name? Good Carrot. Good Carrot. Thanks, Aidan. You haven't lost it. This is unbelievable. The buzz the minute the Bally Doyle horses and Aidan came out of it. The world's media have copped on that they're going down to the race course. And as you can see, there's a huge amount of people following behind. I can just see Aidan and the pony because it's the first time I've seen the string out. There's Seamus on Duke of Marmalade. There's Johnny and Soldier Fortune. And I'll tell you one thing, every horse is looking well. It's amazing when you come out in the race course. I thought that Aidan would have the race course to himself, but that's not the case. It's alive with horses, alive with all the best horses in America, alive with all the best horses in Ireland. And I can see Michael Stout's horses, I see Jeremy Noceda's horses, I see the Godolphin horses down in the corner. This really is the place where the best horses in the world have come together to show what they're worth. It's nice to give it a sun, I told you. Huh? A bit better than we left Bally Doyle, but... It's nice and warm. It's and roasting, isn't it? Track, the track looks good. Mm. All the horses okay. had a nice sweat there this morning, had a look around. So, no, this is where it's at, you know. You can see the atmosphere building up around the track. What did you get a draw for? For the, for the horses in the Classic? With the Duke in five and Henry in four? Um, I think it's okay, you know. it's um, he jumped, They jump well from the gate. It's a mile of course. It's a long run to the first bend. So as long as we can get into a nice position, um, I think, I think the, the draws are pretty good in that race. The 
horses are back in the Pally Doyle barn here, the gates are locked up and they've after seeing the race course for the first time, the, the minute they came back in off the course, because it's so hot they get washed down straight away, they're going back in now to get a bit of grub and that's what it's all about, getting them into a routine in the LA sun. Tell us why you decided to take the shot with um, Henry the Navigator. He's one of those horses who likes to be on his toe and obviously on a fast surface, fast level surface, we're hoping if the season hasn't been too long he, he would be able to do that. Though. It's good fast ground here and the track is beautifully maintained. Duke of Marmalade is, is one of those horses that likes a strong tempo through the race. Um, uh, he's another horse that likes fast ground. He's, he's very dour and very, very tough. Aiden, who are all those children following you in their little jackets? <laughs> uh, listen, they're all our own kids and Johnny's kids and Pat's kids. And, yeah. Well, how do they choose which jacket to wear? I don't know that. <laughs> Aiden, it's a quarter to 11 in the morning. It's about 32 degrees. It's unbelievable weather, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, beautiful, Hector. Um, beautiful day. Backdrop is beautiful, isn't it? Had you, you, have you been here over the years? Has we in Santa Anita uh, a couple of years ago? Yeah, we were here with High Chaparral. So, um, oh, he won here? He did, yeah. Oh, so that's good yeah. memories. Yeah, it's good, absolutely. Tell me, what about the Americans? They really do it big over here. Like, we're in the home of Hollywood. This is almost a Hollywood racing, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and you're a big name over here. Like, I can, uh, hey, it was like the Champions League press conference when you came uh, out of the barn. Yeah, no, it's just great because, obviously, uh, great to be involved with everybody in Coolmore. And obviously, the Coolmore horses are recognised all over the world. Yeah. There's a big emphasis on the start, the stalls in America. They hear a bell and they break. They try and get position and they bait away in the first furlong. It's different in Europe. We try and get a position after it. But in America, you hear that bell and you get the break. So Aidan's been training his horses down in Ballydoyle. When they hear that bell, out they go and get a good position. Beside me is a six-time Breed- Breeders' Cup winner. Six-time Breeders' Cup winner. One of those was a dead-heated with the man I'm following, Aidan O'Brien. You're dead-heated with yeah. High Chaparral. Yeah. It was a great race. Little horse I ran, Joe Hart. Just a heart of gold. Here comes High Chaparral. High Chaparral, the defending champ, to take it to Bob Bob. These two arch rivals hang ahead with Joe Hart bearing down on them. It's going to be a three-horse photo finish in the turn. Here's the wire. Photo finish. High Chaparral in between horses. Maybe it was very, very close. Joe Hart. It was very close to this day. I still, I still think High Chaparral won. I think I won. I think yes. I shall. Well, I think you're wrong. I think Aiden's right. I think he's wrong. I think Bally Doyle horse won to this day. No way. Tell me what you know about Aiden and, and Bally Doyle. Only what I read and, and uh, read with great admiration. Um, I can't imagine uh, how he does such a good job with all those horses. And he just must have a mind like a genius. Now listen, there's all talk about the track and we're now on the pro ride track. This is what they're calling it. This is this is this is probably the best surface in America of its type, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, is this it? is like what it's like in Dundalk. Yes, yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a poly track. It's it's a, it's a beautiful surface. It's fast surface and it's fair surface, I think. And I think it's great for racing all over the world for the thoroughbred breed because uh, it's going to bring the grass and dirt horses together. Forty-two degrees here, 11 o'clock in the morning, and JP Mortis had to go out. He's done three laps of this Santa Anita track in this heat, lad. It's incredible. He's after losing two to three pounds because tomorrow he wants his weight bang on for the big race. Good, John. Give us a look, 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 look. It's going to be tough going out there this week. It's yeah. going to be very hot. This early in the morning, being so hot, it's going to be hard for him. You know, the air is, is light, it's, yeah, it's very it's warm. It's sweltering, isn't it? Johnny, you see, people don't know you have to do this. People don't know you put it in. They just think you hop up on a horse, you ride him and you go home. Listen, it's the same for everyone. The horses have to prepare, the trainers have to prepare. And listen, I'm just a guy, I'm a bit heavier than most, and I have to put the extra hours around the Many track. Many laps did you do? Three laps. I ran two, walked one. Did you see the sweat popping off him? He was dripping, dripping. The baseball cap was soaking. That's dedication. He's had a good season, lads. All we need is one more Group 1 winner. He's had 21. He's had one of the best seasons of his life. Aidan's had one of the best seasons of life. All we want is one more winner. One more winner. Now, 
there's a big team out here from Ballydoyle and every man has an important job and none bigger than this man the farrier Michael John O'Riordan from Emily County Tipperary that's it yeah How are you oh, keeping? Yeah. good thanks exactly yourself come here give us a look at these racing shoes what's the difference what are we losing here <coughs> compared to we're using a thing what they call a regular toe grab out here it's only using the pro surface or on dot surfaces it's mainly designed to help them out of the stalls and that's the difference that lip and that there. lip and there yeah that just gives me a bit of traction behind a bit of grip it's like a sprinter starting blocks and uh, they think it works so we're going to use it You've been at the Breeders' Cup before. I remember you won on Kalanisi, you won on Ridgeward Pearl. Now you're with the most powerful stable in the world, Johnny. That must be some buzz, though, is it? Ah, that you've come with Bally Doyle now. Yes, Bally Doyle is, you know, they've been brilliant this year. It's been, you know, a pleasure to, to, to be part of it. And you can see the, the attraction to, they bring to the Breeders' Cup. Come this time of the year, every year, the best horses all over the world are sorted. And if they're still in good shape this time of the year, everyone wants to be here. When you look up at that grandstand, the adrenaline must be ready to rock. Is it? Are you set for this? This is where I always wanted to be. I always wanted to come to the Breeders' Cup and ride in the big races with the, with, with the best horses, against the best jockeys, against the best trainers. We have definitely got the best view in the house because I'm up here in the announcer's box, as they call it, or the commentary box, with the commentator for the Breeders' Cup, the 25th Breeders' Cup, Trevor Denman. Nice to meet you guys. Now, Aidan O'Brien horses always yes. go fast. What do you know about okay. his, his team he's brought over? They look great on form, but I tell you one thing, you know, speed or fastness in, in, in Ireland and England and speed out here is two different things. The fastest horse in Ireland won't get to the front here. Curlin is a 5-2 to two favourite. Yes. And then you're given Henry the Navigator, four-time Group 1 winner, yes. Duke of Marmalade, a five-time Group 1 winner, yes. the champions of Europe. You're putting them a 10-1. to yes. one. You boys have no respect for the European horses. I think it comes down to the surface. We'd respect them if they were running on the turf. Curlin is coming, Duke of Marmalade, who can gallop over a mile and two. Okay. Just call him home. Call okay. him home. Close my eyes. Well, it's a great duel. The American Curlin showing his class. But look at these Europeans. Duke of Marmley, where Ravens Pass is flying oh, no, down no, the centre. No, no, he's English. Oh, he's English, sorry. The odds are really, really stacked up against the European horses over at the Breeders' Cup. It's hard enough to get into the frame, never mind win the race. These American horses are racing here week in, week out on this surface. Then we come over. Some of these horses have never even been to America. They've never even raced on this surface. But I'm telling you one thing. If you manage to get into the frame, and if you're lucky enough to get a winner, then you really hit the jackpot. 40, 60, 80 dollars, 100 dollars in vouchers. All comes up on the screen, print voucher. So you put all your dollars in here and then you get a voucher. Oak Park Racing Association, 100 dollars voucher. This is my mobile bookie for the day. I move along then to the second computer. I stick in my voucher. And this is the way it all happens here. There's no bookies on course. I go down here, look, Breeders' Cup Friday. I want a 50 dollars place on heart shape. I select race, place, horse number 12, 15 to one print and I have now put on my bet on Johnny Morta heart shaped place $50 bet horse number 12 I hope that you all fasten your seat belts because this next two days you're going to be seeing action packed stuff you're going to see the best horses and the best jockeys from around the world competing for more than $25 million in cash prices. Think about that, $25 million. I mean, this is much more money than the movie Hercules in New York made. What is going on here? And remember, stay as long as you can because we need your cash, if you know what I mean. Have fun. I'll be back. Do you get nervous? I should, really, our job is done now. Listen, we can do no more, and then we'll get nervous for Johnny, really. That everything yeah, that, goes well. Of course, because it's just man yeah. and horse left listen, now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because he has to get the brakes out there. And well, listen, we've made great, great winners. I'll tell you something, I'm getting so attached to them now, because you know the people mind them as well, Ed. Ah, yes. I know the well, places. Yeah, it's for them. I know the girls, I know the lads, yeah. I know... Listen, you, and you've no idea how distraught they get when it doesn't go right, you know, because they put a lot of work into yeah. it, you know what I mean? But listen, great to be here. I have a suit for tomorrow, by the way. How yeah. are you going to survive? It's 90 degrees in the shade. Ah, yeah, but listen, we're, we're in the shade. Right? <laughs> we'll stay in we'll here. stay in the shade. We're in the weigh room at the Breeders' Cup. This really is backstage, and we've been loud in here, access all areas, to meet Johnny, just before his first ride of the weekend, on heart shape, the two-year-old filly. Hey, how are you getting on? You all right? What yeah. are you doing? Studying a bit of form? Yeah, just getting ready now. This place is getting huge, ready. isn't it? It's a good facility. Huh? Right? Yeah, well, there's lots of jockeys here today, so it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty busy in here. Just sitting down, this is where I sit. The Tory's next door to me, so... A bit of banter? 
bit of banter. The crowd is building out there, John. It must yeah. be 60,000, 70,000 out there. Listen, I've never seen anything like it. No, it's huge. First ride for Bally Doyle at this year's Breeders. Heart shaped. We're hoping she'll run well. She's so good form at home. I have to be able to get out, get a nice position. Hold on to her a little bit because the first time over the trip and then we're hoping. Hey, listen, best of luck. We'll be rooting Thanks. for you. Get Thank out you. There. Get out there, Thanks. Johnny. Get out there. You're a little beauty. Show them what you're like. About 10 minutes to go to the heart-shaped race. Now, it doesn't matter what work went on in Bally Doyle, lads. This is what it's all about. Everyone's dressed up. You can feel the tension in the air. They've all got their match heads on. Everyone's got a serious face. John Magna here, Derek Smith's here, Michael Tabor here, all the big owners. They didn't come to America for the good of their health, I'll tell you. And you can feel that the, the anticipation in the air. last time that he'll have any contact with the horse. After months and months of work, it comes down to this. Putting on the saddle. He puts on the saddle. On. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, wow. Now, Aidan will take control of this. Wait you see this. Watch this. Aidan will take control of it. <sighs> the horses have gone out. She just got a little bit a little bit tetchy in the in the saddling area. She's going down fine now. I can see her in the big screen with Johnny. And are you nervous, yeah? Yeah. It's definitely. tension, isn't it? Butterflies. Butterflies. They're in the stalls. And uh, they're off. Away they go to, uh, to spread out now, lads. They're spread out. Johnny's about seven or eight. Lara leads it. Rendon second. Carmen third. Emmy Darling in fourth. Johnny's just settled her out the back. Second last bend now. Here we go. Favorite's gone a length forward. Come on, Johnny, he's coming. Come on, Archite. Come on, Archite. Come on, Archite. Come on, Archite. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. She win it. I don't know. She, she win it. Photo finish. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I thought she got up. He's pouncing now. We're looking at the replay. He's pouncing, he's pouncing, he's pouncing. Get your head down. Oh, jeez. Done by a short head, which is that, that much. You know, it's been a great season for Bally Doyle. 21 Group 1 winners, and to come the other side of the world, to have six days here to get ready. And the first of that goes out is a baby, a two-year-old filly called Heart Shaped, and she's beaten by less than an inch. What a great start to the Breeders' Cup. Now, that's what we're talking about. She ran a cracking race. Ran a great race, Hector. Johnny gave her a great ride. It's obviously her first time over a mile. Uh, he saved her all the time and just produced it. It is that you can come late here yeah, and another absolutely. another three strides. Ah, another listen, stride. Another stride. The line just came. What a great start, heart shaped. We said she'd run well, the juvenile Phillies beating a short head. And here's my first win on American soil. How you doing? Can you check that docket please? Thank you very much. Thanks very much. That's not a bad start. This is halfway to Heaven's Race and she looks absolutely fantastic. Superstar. Three group one winners. She knows her job. Do you know, when the sun comes out on their backs, it's a complete different kettle of fish. This is what these animals love. Listen, if we sneak one, I'll tell you, we'll never go home. No. We'll never go home. We're, we're staying out here for five weeks' holidays. <laughs> Johnny's taking the lead. Round the final bend. Come on, fight halfway! He's gone in again, the rail. Forever the Gala wins it. Fifth or sixth, halfway to heaven, she was there, thereabouts. Maybe it's just the end of a long season. She was there fighting in the last furlong. Not to worry, we move on. That's the end of day one. Yesterday were the Phillies and today's the Colts and Bally Doyle of all their big guns out. It all culminates with the Breeders' Cup Classic. Five million dollars in offer, the richest race of its kind in the world. And this is the race that everybody dreams of winning. We're looking here at Westphalia, lads. This is one of our best chances of the day. It's juvenile colts, two-year-olds. Fingers crossed, we need a good run. Come on, I'll see you in the standing bar. Here we 
really is hard to win one out here, isn't it? Huh? This is tough stuff. But this lad has won a group two. He has a bit of an advantage over the rest of them, so I expect a really good show. We need it now, lads. A good run, and we could go close with this lad. Best of luck, Johnny. So Westphalia is there at the start for this juvenile two-year-old. Uh, he's been really well behaved, Pat. He's done nothing wrong so far, has he? No, he's been very good. And that's a good sign for a young horse, a young two-year-old horse to come to a place like this. He needs to be relaxed. It's a good. Listen, he won the last time. He won well the last time. I have really high hopes for this lad. Come on. Here's Grand Come on, Gate closed. Here we go. Johnny's about sixth. He's moving up there to about fourth. Up along the rails, Pat. He's got a nice position now, lads. Come on now, Johnny. He needs a bit of luck here, Pat. Come on, let's get out, Johnny. Come on, 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 Johnny. He's beating the short head. Shit. He's been beating another short head. Feck it. Couldn't get out. He got out. He got out. He got out. He was coming. He was just done on the line again. I don't know what to say, lads. That's twice. That's twice in two days we've been that close. Soldier Fortune. Great chance. This horse won the Irish Derby last year. He's third in the arc this year. But this horse looks in good order. He's chomping at the bit here. To be so close to these animals, lads, it's incredible. All the work of the last few months has gone down here to this next few minutes. Round the far bend. Johnny's got the lead. Come on, Johnny, stay on. He's taking the lead down of them. Come on, Johnny, you stay. Come on, Johnny, you stay! And swoop, swoop into third. Third. Two seconds and a third. We've got one more chance at this, lads. We're bringing out the best two horses in the stable. Probably the best two horses in Europe. The next race is our do or die, our last chance saloon. Henry the Navigator and Duke of Marmalade. It's a big ask. We've got one more chance to do this. Henry's getting a little bit sidetracked. I think you saw some women around the place, but Duke of Marmalade is in perfect, perfect order. There's nine group ones between Henry the Navigator and Duke of Marmalade, so we have to give them respect and we have to believe that this is their chance. This is it, lads. All set for the $5 million Breeders' Cup Classic. Gates open, fields sent on their way to the roar of the Santa Anita crowd. Come on now, this has to be one. Please, please, please. Johnny's third. Henry the Navigator lying fifth as they go around the first turn here at the Breeders' Cup Classic. Out they go around the far side. That's our man in the commentary. That's our man in the commentary. I need him to commentate now. Johnny's now starting to push. Look, look, look. Duke of Marmalade. Come on, Johnny, you have to stay all day. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Duke. Oh, he's getting swamped up. Come on, Henry. Come on, Henry. Here comes Henry. Here comes Henry. Here comes Henry. Stay up, Henry. Come on, Henry, the navigator. He's got it to second. Ravens pass wins it for England. Ravens pass wins it. Henry, the navigator, second. Second again. Huh? Yeah, tough week, tough day. How do you feel? How do you... I know, listen, listen. He's just, he ran an absolute yeah, ran, super race. Ran a stormer, yeah. So listen, um, yeah, listen, what can you say? He's had a long, hard season. He, he had no break through the whole season. Look at marvellous run from him. He's retired now. He'll yeah. enjoy his life in America. Ab and, that's, and there's nothing wrong with a second at the Breeders. No, absolutely. That tree. Listen, great to be here. Well, we came over with them and we'll go back with them. Come yeah, on, I walk, come thanks, on, I walk with you. Come on, come on. <laughs> you told me it was going to be hard, didn't you? No, this is tough. Jeez. Oh my God, Henry ran a great race. He did, he did, yeah. 
Well, what an honour and a privilege it's been to hang around with the Bally Doyle crew and Aidan O'Brien. Three seconds over the weekend, so close but yet so far. But to top it all off, Henry the Navigator romps up this straight and finishes second in the Classic and picks up a million dollars. Now that ain't half bad. Now listen, me seven of the lads in Navin bought a horse. We spent eleven £1, hundred pound on now, Aidan, right? He's eleven £1, hundred pounds worth. I was wondering if I'd send him down to you and you could train him because I know you could. He's a Absolutely. little bit backward, Aidan. Yeah. He's a little bit slow. Yeah. I know you're the man who can make no. him faster. Absolutely. Would, we, you, would you take him? I would be delighted. Well, 11, he's only eleven £1, hundred pounds worth. No, no problem. There's would that be okay? The lads, I'm sure, would start to get him started. And listen, him would, you, would you mention to John that uh, you know I might syndicate him out two hundred pound a leg? No problem. Would yeah. that be okay? Yeah, be a pleasure. Would you look at it? Yeah, look forward to it. Lovely. Yeah. I might drop him down. You gotta look at uh, trot him up. Super, Hector. Can't wait. Great, great. Well done, Hector.